Right, good evening Hackology. We're back on the air as from now. Um, I've taken a break, been working on some other projects which we'll be covering over the next few days. Um, tonight we're going to be looking at VirtualBox. What is VirtualBox? VirtualBox just allows you to install um, multiple operating systems with inside one operating system. So basically you could have Windows uh, 7 installed and you could install Ubuntu to run within Windows 7. But you could have 10 Ubuntu machines for network testing and setup and, and you know seeing how things run. Um, so basically what we're going to do tonight is we're going to install VirtualBox onto Windows 7 and we're also going to install uh, Ubuntu to the VirtualBox install and I'm doing this to show you how to install LAMP on Ubuntu which we'll cover in uh, the next episode. So let's get started. What you're going to need to do is go to virtualbox.org go to the downloads this is also available for Linux um, and Mac OS so you could run any operating system within any operating system and any amount so basically you could run um, all three different operating systems three of the same type um, another one you, you know choices are endless combinations are up to you right so for Windows we're going to be downloading the x86 and AMD 64. So you've downloaded VirtualBox from VirtualBox.org, you've installed it, you've installed all the drivers and you've said OK to all the installation steps. You've booted VirtualBox, this is the screen that you're going to see. Now what you need to do on this is we've got to set a computer up, so we need to install the operating system. The way to do that is by clicking on the new icon, click next, type the name of the OS, so Linux 10.10 .10. Um, just click next, leave it as Linux, give it as much memory as possible, so I'm going to give it a gig of RAM and we're going to give it a dynamically expanding hard disk which basically means that the hard disk is small and it will expand to, um, uh, to allow more room for more data so you don't have to throw away 10 gigabytes straight away, you can just allocate the space as you go just click next to that, leave everything standard, click finish right. OK, now we'll see the description of the machine and all, all of its details down here. And what we're going to do is click the start button at the top, the green arrow, click that. OK, it's telling us it's going to auto capture. This is the first run wizard. Click next on the first run, click the little folder icon and select your Ubuntu um, or your Linux ISO or your Windows ISO, depending on what kind of system you're installing. I'm just going to show you with Ubuntu tonight. OK, so click next finish. Wait for the machine to beat up and now you'll notice Ubuntu is taking you through the standard install process. So we're going to just install Ubuntu, just click OK, OK. OK so just while Ubuntu is installing, why would you why would you want to use VirtualBox? Well you may want to network test things and applications and see how they run between other machines. You might also want to sandbox something, so you might not want to actually install it on your machine, but you want to test the software and see what it's like. You can do that through VirtualBox. The reason we're installing VirtualBox tonight is because I'd like to show you how to set up and run your own web server. We'll do some clever stuff with dynamic DNS and frame sets to uh, trick browsers into thinking they're places that they aren't really, um, when really they're coming into your machine, which is quite cool. Um, we just let this install. Once this is installed, um, I'll show you Ubuntu up and running inside Windows 7. I mean, even if you just wanted to test the water and see what Ubuntu is like, this is a great way of doing it because you don't have to. You don't have to format your hard disk. You're not messing about with boot partitions. If it all goes wrong. You can always delete the operating system and reinstall it. Um, many uh, advantages of using this virtualization system. Okay, so once the installation is complete, you just press enter to continue and it will restart the machine. Now if you are used to running Linux, things will start to look familiar. 
it's just um, leave it windowed because I don't know if the screen capture is going to work on full screen. So let's just let the machine boot. Okay, and now we can just click on this account. Uh, Apology. Login. Excuse me. Right, okay, so we've just logged in. And you can see now we can click on applications and we can boot stuff inside Linux. Handy for, for running Linux software on a Windows machine or Windows software on a Linux machine as well. So I'm just going to shut this down and tomorrow, uh, we'll, in the next episode I should say, we're going to continue and look at installing LAMP on this to run as a web server, FTP server, um, PHP and MySQL server. I suppose it's also worth mentioning, if you want to start the operating system again, just go into VirtualBox and click Start. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode. Have fun hacking, and we'll be back sooner than uh, you might think. Peace.